Fuck off. Here's the mint new fucking rig of mine. I sold the fucking Red Rocket. You know, took profit, paid bills, because that's what Americans do. Can never just enjoy it. Bought this fucking piece of shit for 1200 bucks to fucking uh, replace it with for winter time here. Running, driving 4x4 fucking truck. Expected too. Till fucking next year. So, 1200 bucks, it's steel. Still got stock cats on it. There's some money there. So, really, I'm only paying $800, $900 for this piece of shit. Need a rear axle. So, what you're gonna wanna do is just let the truck cruise control. But no driver. That's not the bad driver. Lock them some tires, put them on. These were the fucking black and round fucking road tires that are on it. Got some decent fucking uh, BFGs on it now. Rear axle is fucked. I already replaced it, runs great. Taking a trip to the fucking scrapyard, clearing out the fucking garage finally. And, uh,. The fucking molasses for gear oil. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, just fuck, man. Oh, yeah. You don't need to worry about having chocolate pudding as fucking gear oil. Fat free jello pudding. Ooh, there's a good amount of water in this, too. Oh yeah, there's some right there. Like a lot. Like all of it. And there goes that. Fuck! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Box says it's fat free, but let's see what my taste buds have to say. Like I don't even know what it smells like. It doesn't even smell like fucking gear oil. Like it's fucked. Just totally fucked. Chasing a fucking bank one, bank two fucking rich code on this new piece of shit I got. Truck runs pretty decent. You don't need to worry about no fucking spark plugs. Gap's supposed to be 40 thousandths. Here's 40 thousandths. Hmm. Let's go as big as 80 thousandths. Double it. Fuck. Yeah, so I fixed the spark plugs. I put a fucking new air... Well, I borrowed my air filter off my fucking uh, blazer. <laughs> this one was fucking plugged like a motherfucker. But uh, it's good run 5.3 with a 4L60. It's only missing one manifold bolt on either side, and they're not leaking either. I mean, overall, the engine's actually pretty fucking clean. It has a brand new battery in it. It's probably junk, but it's brand new. Um, newer alternator for for the price of it. And, I mean, I've already driven it like five, 600 miles. As you can see, wow, fucking garage is cleared out. Holy shit. Is it didn't have a fucking muffler on it. So... I don't know about you guys, but I have stock of just random fucking shit, and I had a muffler sitting in that pile. Uh, actually came off a of Silverado at one point. It was a single inlet, dual outlet, uh, straight through design muffler, like a Dynamax or Dy Dynaflow or whatever the fuck they're called. It's a stainless muffler, in pretty good shape. Cobbled that on there, 290s. Side pipes, don't mind my fucking welds, just didn't give a fuck, didn't clean up any material, nothing. She's a little cold. Richer than fucking cheesecake, bud. Eric. This is why this truck's a piece of shit. See, I mean, the frame looks all right. The C-channel's all good. There's no fucking rockers whatsoever. Somehow all the body mounts are still there, though. I don't understand that one. So this is why that truck, it's a piece of shit. This right here fails inspection. 
This is a very common rot point on these Silverados. But structurally, these the C channel is still good for right now. But what happens is they like to fucking crack eventually because it, it continues rusting out and they end up cracking. Yeah, see, this side's even worse. In fact, that's the gas tank support also on that side. Got that pipe in there. Just kind of half ass up in there. But that holds up the gas tank. It's fucking great. Bunch of hose clamps. Truck's a good runner, though. I'm telling you that. Then she does sit a little crooked. Yeah, there's the axle I put in. I gotta trim the fucking U bolts yet. But, uh, so I mean, the frame back here is, you know, decent. The truck bed, there's nothing left of it. Like the floor, there's the bracing, gone. And then, there's the floor. That's, uh, they took some plywood and put rubber or bud mat or something on either side and yeah yeah i mean you don't need to worry about having a fucking truck bed floor i went on this script run no problem but yeah so it's got a hitch on it looks to be in decent shape all the mount points are there and this rear cross member is still all there somehow so I think the frame's are right back here, it's still structural. But, then you come over here to this uh, beautiful, clean one owner fucking shackle mount. See this, is supposed to be like down here. Use the truck bed floor, it's non-existent, to be your new shackle mount. It's okay, it, everything's fine. So, what would normal people do? They'd say, ah, this truck's garbage. Take it to the scrapyard. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this fucking thing to work. I already hauled a bunch of shit in the bed yesterday. Nothing fell through. It's fine. That's what you got framed for. Yeah, see? It's, uh, plywood. But, so what do you do with a leany truck? It has, like, no fucking shock mount or, uh, leaf spring mount back here? Ah, you fucking grind out that hitch right there. Whoops. Oh no, I scratched the paint. Fuck you, tailgate. You decided to stop working yesterday. Fucking piece of shit. Well, yeah. What you do is you throw a fucking ball at it and then uh, go tow a fucking beat down Buick. What can go wrong? Fuck. She's ready to go. I didn't even have to grind her out. I thought I was going to have to. It's pretty rusty in there, but uh, fucking hot dog down the hallway, bud. So uh, I was cruising down the fucking road here. I stumbled upon a hitchhiker. Picked up this fucking D John. So when you got a sketchy truck and you're going to tow something for the first time with it, there's certain tests that you must conduct with the fucking thing. Actually, there's only one, really. Hey, get the fuck out of my truck! God damn it. You always yell at me. God damn it. Got a face full of fucking debris. That was awesome. It was a long walk. Jesus Christ, guy. Quarter mile fucking long burn out. You have all my goddamn beers. Down, do it for the next fucking video. Till then, don't put your hands in place. You want to put your fucking dick. <laughs>